my game needs levels, which means I have to make them. About a week ago, that looked like this. All right, so I wanna put a corner here. Uh, I wanna put a wall here. Ah, I'll move this down. Uh, I gotta move this whole thing. Gotta resize it. Uh, uh. Blocking out levels like this is good to get some ideas out there, but it's really less than ideal for the kind of levels that I wanna make and the amount of levels I need to make. I mean, it would take me forever to make 10 levels even with this method. I mean, you know, if you wanna change this one little section here, you have to like rotate and resize a bunch of blocks and it's just not really gonna work. So I knew that I wanted to use Unity's Edge Collider because I had used it in a previous version of this game to create a little collider uh, boundary that follows the edge of the screen through code. Now, there's not really an intuitive way in Unity to create and manipulate these points. So I created this neat little editor script that basically allows you to place, edit, and delete the points for the edge collider by clicking in the editor. And then there is a line renderer that is basically just a list of points. Again, those just follow the same points so that it kind of follows along the edge collider and I can make art for that, the edge of the, you know, the edge of the, the map and stuff. And then the background is basically just a sprite shape. It uses splines and stuff, but I mean, it's basically just a, a, another list of points. So those points also follow the points we clicked in for our edge collider. And then you end up with this nice little dynamic level editing system. Now that I can make levels, I can start thinking about world building. What do these biomes look like? And how does the player navigate through them? So there's gonna be a map with biomes on it, like uh, Mario style, Super Meat Boy, Ali Ali World. Um, I really like this map by the way, the Ali Ali world map. I, I want the game to feel handcrafted, but I also want an element of randomness. So to achieve this, I'm gonna make these levels individually using the level editing editor script thing that we just talked about. And then I'm gonna use my old dungeon generation method to string the rooms together in a way that makes sense. So that each time you play through it, you'll get something a little bit different. I, as a game designer, still get to physically design the levels and the things that can potentially spawn inside of said rooms. Uh, I remember this clip of Derek Yu, the creator of Spelunky, talking about how he designed levels this way. Start with the levels being made out of a grid of rooms, and then each room is made out of a grid of tiles. In a way, each room is kind of its own smaller level. Yeah, you can see here this. If you want to see uh, how a method like that would work, you can check out my old ass video on how I made one in 3D. In an older version of this game, uh, I had cosmetics like clothes, like shirts, shoes, chains, uh, and masks. Um, now there's just going to be masks, and they're not just cosmetic, they will have a purpose. Um, so. Masks can be obtained from chests. Uh, the mask can be equipped and will give you uh, status effects. So like a fire mask that um, catches anything on contact, catches a that uh, starts fire on contact. Everything that you bump into catches on fire. Uh, stuff like that. I think that'll be really fun. And then the masks, you get to keep them when you go to start a new run. Uh, you'll get to pick from masks that you've already discovered and you'll get to wear them on the run. Um, I think that'll be kind of a fun little like collectathon kind of thing, you know? You can you can uh, you know try to collect all the masks. I think that'll be kind of fun. I promise I've not been wasting time watching or playing Dwarf Fortress. So it's taken me a little while to kind of get this project going again. Um, doing a lot of uh, foundation work 
for the project and just kind of just kind of getting things moving again. Uh, but stick with me, and uh, next time I will have some gameplay for you. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.